Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. If you're a follower of my channel, you know that I usually don't do videos on products. Most of my videos are light burn tutorials, either the software tutorial or project tutorials. But today we're going to do something just a little bit different. I'm calling this one the Oregi 80 watt diode laser which is a combination of two different names that's Ortur and Nej. I am upgrading my laser, my diode laser. But before I get started, I, I just want to give a big shout out to Jeanette M. Uh, you know who you are. Thank you so much for that fantastic donation. That really helps the channel out a lot, helps me to make these videos, helps me to buy supplies to make videos and so on. Thank you so much for that do donation. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to uh, the video at hand. So the Origi. 80 watt diode laser. What is it? Well, it's something new from NAJ. It's a new laser. It is the A40640 laser module. And what this is, is two 7.5 watt diode lasers combined into one beam. Now, if you're familiar with laser cutters, they are typically up to about 20, 30, 40 watts of uh, supply, up to 5.5 watts of output. And recently, NAJ has come out with the 7.5 watt output. This particular module is the new dual 7.5 watt output. So what can it do is the question. Well, let's take a look. This is what comes in the box. So in here, you've got your laser module. You've got your sliding fixture to attach it to your laser. You've got a four pin cable. You have a digital PWM wave pulse signal generator, which I have no use for. I'll find some use for that later on. There's a European adapter, which I definitely have no use for. <laughs> A pair of goggles, red goggles that, uh, you know, they're the cheap ones. I have a link to my goggles down in the description below. Those are the ones that you should be wearing. They're worth every penny and protecting your eyesight is paramount when you're playing with lasers. Um, there's also a 12 volt power adapter and they, they claim it's up to 50 watts, but it's actually a 60 watt power supply that I got. There's a couple little Allen wrenches and that's about it. And I'm not gonna go through the whole build video with you. I'm just gonna go through a couple of photos and a few videos and show you what I did. So this whole package comes in at $259. And here is the actual laser. It's smaller than the Ortur 20 watt, which was surprising. And this is how it's built. So in here, you've got, here's your dual lasers, one and two. I'm um, guessing that they hit a mirror right here and combine. And then there's up here, you've got a driver board for the fan motor. What they're calling air, air assist is not really air assist. It's an air assist for the laser. What it does is it keeps this area clear of smoke and debris, well, which is a good thing. You know, it's a good air assist, but it's not a real air assist that clears the cut path for you. So it doesn't give you any assistance in cutting. All it does is keep the laser diodes clear of any debris and smoke, which is great because then you don't have to clean it. You know, with a regular laser, you've got to clean it, what, every month or so? Got to get out the Q-tips and that's a pain in the butt. Here are the actual two, a picture of the two lasers. And this is a close-up of the module. I wasn't really happy with the quality of the, everything scratched, you know, no, nothing is clean. And the installation is super simple. So uh, with most lasers, you can disregard three, this is just three different ways to hook it up. And this is what you do with most lasers here. Most lasers have three pin connector. So if you have an Ortur, this is the one that you'd use right here. And it's really, it's just plug and play. And you don't have to worry about anything else. You plug one wire in here, the one that comes from your control board, and then you plug one wire that NAJ supplies from here to the laser. And that's it. I mean, it's just that simple. Before I'm installing this laser, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some graphite, uh, dry graphite lube, and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna put that on all of the moving wheels. I do this about, I don't know, once every two months or so, and it keeps everything rolling smoothly. And I was really quite surprised. And here, see these wheels in here? with the eccentric nuts on them. And I put the lube all in on both sides of these. It really makes it run up and down smoothly. So all you have to do is disconnect the ground. Well, this was a aftermarket ground that I put on, but you just disconnect the ground, you unplug the laser, and interesting enough, adapter that comes with the NAJ fits right onto the Otor adapter. So now, uh, and this is actually quite neat because I can either adjust it with the thumb screw over here, the Atura adapter up and down, 
or I can adjust it with the Allen wrench over here and move the AJ up and down. It's actually a pretty nice feature. So here's an example of the two wires. This is the, the wire that comes from NAJ, and this is the wire from my Autour that goes back to the control board. And if you see, positive, negative, positive, negative data. So there, both exactly the same. All you do is plug this one in here, and that's it. It's simple. And here it is installed. It took me maybe 15 minutes at most. and Actually about 30 minutes because I, I did go ahead and vacuum out all the tracks. And I was surprised to find out that two of my uh, drive belts were loose. So I, I, I wasn't getting any problem with any of my work. Uh, but I was surely surprised when I found one of them was actually laying deep in the channel. So I'm glad I caught that. And I just adjusted them a month ago. So I can't imagine how that happened. This is the important part right here. This is the actual beam from that laser. Now on an, on an auteur and on a typical diode laser, you have a rectangular beam that's twice the size. So when you're cutting in this direction, it's twice as wide the kerf as when you're cutting in a vertical direction and I'm sure a lot of you understand this because you'll be trying to cut out a piece of wood or a puzzle part or something like that and the left and the right side will cut out completely through and the top and the bottom will still have not burned through so this is the beauty about the NAJ all right my first cut was two millimeter plywood this was 200 speed 35 power and the focus was 22 millimeters. Now on a two millimeter piece, I guess I should have focused it at 23 millimeters. 22 is the recommended, that's the top of the workpiece. But I focused it at 22 to see what would happen. And bam, uh, I mean, it it just melted right through that like butter. I mean, that, that, was, that was simple. Here's a second cut. This is also two millimeter plywood at 200 speed and 30 power. This is also 22 millimeter focus. Now you notice I just reduced the power by five from 35 to 30. And I kind of got a stuck corner up in the top left corner. Don't know why that happened. That shouldn't have happened. But it was stuck. It did go all the way through, most of the way around. But from about here, from about here to here, uh, I did was able to snap it out. But that's about it. So here is the next cut. This is 240 speed and 33 percent power, focused at 21 millimeters, and that was just a failure right there. <laughs> Here's another cut, and this was 240 and 35. Nope, oh, that's the same one. That was 240 and 33, I'm sorry. So the next cut was 240 and 33. Yeah, the previous one was 250 and 35. This one is 240 speed, 33 power, focus 21 millimeters, and it was dead on perfect. That was just perfect. It was a perfect cut. All right, so moving on. This is six millimeter. And this did not cut through at a 22 millimeter focus. 130 speed, 75 power. And you can see underneath that some of it's getting through, but not all of it. All right. So moving on to the next one. This is six millimeter. Again, 100 speed, 75. Focus at 22. So I reduced the speed by 30. 100 speed, 75 power, focus 22, 
focused on the surface and I actually should have focused it a little bit lower and that went clean through and that's what it looks like right there I mean it was a really clean clean cut I mean just touch it with a, a little bit of foreign sandpaper and you know it, it's absolutely perfect so let's take another look this is another another six millimeter cut It's 100 speed and 70 power I reduced the power by 5% I put the focus at 19 millimeters this time so I focused below the uh, surface halfway down which is where you're supposed to focus in the first place you should be halfway down the substrate and that's a perfect cut so that was 100 speed 70 power with the focus at 19 three millimeters lower than the surface this is where we get into a little bit of a, a struggle um, this is eight millimeter bamboo and I don't know if you can tell or not this is 70 speed and 80 power so I've got this thing turned up pretty good here and for some reason this little bamboo cutting board is really tough You can see virtually there's nothing happening there. Now this is the second pass. And I turned up the power to 85. And I turned down the speed to 30 and it just burned it up. So I couldn't get any deeper of a cut on this one. I even tried a third one after this. And... This one I'm going to have to run a power scale on. Uh, I have no choice because I don't know what's, what's up with this, but it is just not working. So now we come to one of my favorites, anodized aluminum. These little aluminum uh, business cards. So I have this set on 100 speed, 85 power, and I have the focus at 21 millimeters. And I was never able to do this with my Ortor 20 watt, my 5.5 watt Ortor. I mean, I could get something that looks similar to this, but when you peeled off the uh, plastic coating, everything was gone. So this actually, uh, now this is pretty good because this is just in line mode. I stopped it in the middle. This was a second one. I flipped it over and did the other side. And on the back side, I've got three different lines up on top. And then I've got the picture on the bottom. I'll explain the lines in a minute. The picture is 250 speed. Or I should say the image is 250 speed and 85 power. And the focus is 22 millimeters exactly on the surface. And you can see, I mean, it, it, it's burning through there and doing a heck of a job. There it is right there. Look how beautiful that came out. I mean, that came out just per. It looks like CO2. And I had these uh, left over from when I had my CO2. I still had maybe 50 of these business card blanks left over. And I tried 15 or 20 of them with the Ortur. I even went 100 power on that and um, 50 speed. And just could not get them to even scratch the surface. So, I mean, th this is very impressive, you know, at uh, 100 speed and 85 power. And one pass. You know, and I did multiple passes with the Ortur. So, now these lines are, are something interesting because I burned this way too hot. This top line I have set for 100 
uh, speed 85 power and all of these are going to be focused at 22 millimeters the second line I have uh, at 200 speed 85 power the third line I have at 250 speed 85 power so I'm gonna have to also run a uh, grid on this too on these cards because I'm there's absolutely no difference between the three they're they're all engraved into the metal so uh, yeah this, I'm, I'm gonna be able to bring the power down a lot and still do these all right, next up, acrylic. Three millimeter acrylic. Now this this is orange acrylic, painted black. And I want to tell you that on my ore tour, I had to do 100 speed, 100 power, and between nine and 14 passes to get through this exact piece of acrylic now on this machine at 100 speed 85 power I was able to get through it in four passes at 200 speed 95 power three passes the first one was sloppy and burnt the second one was better um, this one was completely slopped up <laughs> and then I lost the last one which was uh, 250 speed, 85 power with the focus at halfway down, a millimeter and a half down. I didn't actually write that one down. But you can see in the background here, the, this is the last one here. And somehow I, I didn't get that video on the Wi-Fi. The other two came out sloppy like this. So uh, the 100, 200 speed are out. It's got to be at least 250 speed. And, you know, that that's the only way to cut through this. But still, at 250 speed, 85 power, I was able to cut through this in um, two passes. Where on the Autour, over a dozen passes. So then I decided to do a picture. And I did the picture at 250 speed, 85 as well. And with the focus at 22 right on the surface. And I stopped it right in the middle of the burn because it was etching too far into the acrylic itself so at 250 i would guess that maybe 75 would be good so this one here this was a second one that i burned and i did this one at 300 speed and 85 power and it came out perfect am i impressed yeah i'm i'm pretty impressed with this i'm gonna have to run a lot more tests but this is just my first observations and my first observations are this is worlds above the Ortur 20 watt there's no question about about it and if you're interested in getting one of these they're $259 I'll put a link down below to AliExpress where I got mine from uh, it's $259 ship it took about six days for it to get here uh, everything went really well with the sale and I highly recommend it at this point I highly recommend it now I, I am I still have a lot of testing to do with this laser before I can wholeheartedly endorse it but yeah if you're just looking to do things like you know cut three four five millimeter plywood make puzzles and things like that uh, for cutting and engraving there there's probably nothing better on the market i guess i at this point i would highly recommend it um but like i said this is like starting all over for me i've got to run all my test grids on all my different materials to get a good idea of what i'm doing but so far i'm happy I hope this gave you a good overview on the new so-called 80 watt laser <laughs> really 15 watts two seven and a half watt lasers comes out to 15 watts of optical output so that's what you got here 15 watts and maybe it's 12 maybe it's 13 maybe it's 14 maybe it's 15 i don't know i like it so far and you probably would too if you're looking to upgrade i, I would suggest that you upgrade to this one i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching